A lot of hype about Monday's solar eclipse, especially in a narrow portion of the country that will get the maximum effect. Millions are expected to travel to those areas, including our meteorologist Chris Spears. He's going to tell us what to expect and what is called the path of totality. Some have called it a life-changing experience, being inside the narrow path of totality during a total solar eclipse. About 10 to 15 minutes prior to totality, things will begin to change rapidly. An eerie darkness will fall with each passing minute. Shadows will grow sharper on the ground. Planets may be visible. The temperature will drop, and some animals will behave as if day is turning to night. One to two minutes prior to totality, the sky will come alive with several colors, ranging from dark in the west to blue in the east. In the very last seconds before totality, the thin sliver of sun will suddenly break into a string of beads called Bailey's beads, and then you'll see what's called the diamond ring. At this point, totality begins, and for only those inside the path of totality, it will be safe to take off your glasses and observe the sun's atmosphere, called the corona. You'll also see what appears to be a 360-degree sunset all around, brightest to the north and south. In less than two and a half minutes, totality will be over, and you'll need to put your glasses back on, then watch the second half of the show, which is the first half of the eclipse in reverse. So cool. The path of totality is only about 70 miles wide. It'll cross through 14 states, including, well, just across the state line in Wyoming and Nebraska. Lauren